If you ever wanted to mess with a MacBook, but you don't actually have a MacBook to mess with, then you come to the right place. What's going on everybody, it's Lil Xan without any face tattoos, and in today's video we're going to be talking about MacBook virtual machines. By the end of this video, you will actually have your very own totally legit MacBook that looks something like this, meaning it'll be a regular Windows computer, but also you'll be able to run Mac on it as well. So stick around to the end of the video to find out how that's done. And before I actually give you the Walter White process to cook up your very own MacBook in a meth lab at home, I have a couple of things to talk about. The first First one being, I have a new Discord server, so if you want to join that up, go right ahead. It's in the description of this video. All of the downloads are actually going to be inside of my Discord server if you want to repeat what I do in this video, because, you know, I don't really like trust putting links on YouTube descriptions. I don't know, dude. But also another announcement is my course VSEC, if you haven't already seen it, is a cybersecurity course where you can learn everything that you need to know about living in the online world of 2023, right? Like in VSEC, we go into depth about DDoS, ransomware, all kinds of different cyber attacks that are just, you know, prevalent in today's online world. We go over how to defend against them, how to do them on yourself, you know, legally, and all sorts of fun stuff like that. But the point I'm getting at is you could actually get into the course for free right now. All you have to do is you have to go over to my Instagram, right? Just like that, you have to go over to the Instagram and you have to like and comment on my most recent post, right? This one right here. You have to like and comment on that. And what you have to comment is you have to comment the word skid. Out of everybody that comments the word skid on this Instagram post, I will be choosing three people to get into the course for free. I'll DM you a key and then you could just hop on right over. So yeah, make sure you guys go and do that. And without further ado, grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, grab some water, stay hydrated, grab 20 pounds of crystal meth like Walter White and uh... Let's, let's get right into the video. So a couple of the things you need to actually pull this off is one, you're gonna need about 400 pounds of red phosphor, uh, Ayo, wrong video. No, but for one, you're gonna actually need a computer, go figure, right? And not just any computer, an advanced computer, right? No, you need one with an Intel processor because this actually will not work on AMD processors. L in chat for the boys repping the AMD processors right now. I know they're better than Intel, but still, you see Mac OS only runs on Intel hardware. And now I think it only runs on M1 chips or Mac chips or whatever that, I don't even know, dude. But you need an Intel processor, right? And also you're gonna need a little bit of a beefier computer, right? Maybe like eight gigs of RAM, at least a dual core processor because emulating Mac is actually a little bit tricky for uh, normal computers to do. And for the software side of things, you're actually going to need three separate things and you can join the Discord to find those. But for one, you're going to need a program called VMware. This is a virtual machine software. It creates a machine inside of your computer that allows it to run, you know, other instances of Windows or Linux or Mac in this case. Two, you're going to need a software to unlock a VMware. This is so you can actually get it to run Mac. And three, you're going to need a Mac disk image file. All three of these can be found in the Discord. I know the unlocker is on GitHub, so you can see the source code if you want. But yeah, if you're checking off all the boxes right now, you have an Intel computer, you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, you have 400 pounds of red phosphorus, then let's set up this virtual machine, shall we? Now that we're actually on our desktop here, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just install VMware, right? You can get it from VMware's website. I know they have a couple of free packages and paid packages. This one is the free package though right here. So, you know, we could just open it up and inside of VMware, it's gonna look like this. All your saved virtual machines are gonna be right here. You can create a new one, open one, or, you know, upgrade it, help, whatever. But what we're gonna actually wanna do is we have to go into our task manager once this is installed, right? We go into our task manager after it's installed and we scroll around until we find VMware stuff like this and we're just going to end all the VMware tasks. All of them. Every single VMware task. And after you closed every single VMware task, this is whenever we have to unlock VMware. Now, this unlocker thing, I know it looks sketchy, right? It's on uh, GitHub, though. You can find all these links in my Discord once again, but as you can see, everything is all good with this unlocker program. So whenever you run it, it's going to download a file for you. So what you have to do is you have to find the install location for VMware. Make sure you check download tools. And all you have to do is hit patch. This says I'm already patched, which I am. My VMware is already unlocked. But once it's done and you have an unlocked VMware, the next step is to actually create the virtual machine itself. So in order to create a new virtual machine, just click on create a new virtual machine. And then we're going to have to find the ISO file for Mac OS, which yet again is going to be in the Discord server. So we're going to select our Mac OS Monterey in this case is what the version is. And you can ignore this warning right here. Just hit next once you've selected it. And now here, what that warning was about is all you have to do is select Apple Mac Mac OS X. And since Monterey is actually Mac OS 12, we have to do Mac OS 12 right here. So let's hit next again. And we're going to save this virtual machine file to our desktop so we can mess with it easier. And you can name it anything. So let's hit next again. And now we have to allocate the disk space for the virtual environment, which uh, I'm going to leave it at 80 gigabytes because that's a recommended size. 
and we also have to store it as a single file. So let's just hit next again, and now it's going to tell you to customize the hardware, which we're going to do right now because we need to actually give it some more RAM. I'm going to put about six gigabytes of RAM in it, make sure it's using two cores in my processor. Now that we're all done, close that and hit finish. Now, as you can see, since I saved it to my desktop, there's all these files over here that make the virtual machine work, and we have to edit now. We have to edit the VMX file, right? So this is the title of my virtual machine, balls, right here, balls.vmx. We have to edit this. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it with Notepad. Now, once it's open in Notepad, you scroll all the way to the bottom like this, and we're entering a few parameters to change how it views the operating system, right? So we're going to trick it into thinking it's running Mac hardware. So we enter smc.version equals zero in quotes, and it's not required to do this, but you can copy and paste this from the description. You could add these two. So now just control S to save it, X that out, and now we actually get to turn on our totally legit MacBook, right? So we're just going to select it, make sure it's selected, and then hit the play button, power on. Well, as you can see, it looks like it's booting up nicely. Now that we are actually in the setup and it is done booting up for the first time, just select English or whatever uh, native language you are, and then go into Disk Utility. Now, once you're in Disk Utility, click on the VMware Virtual SATA hard drive, and you're going to actually erase this disk, and we're going to name it whatever we want, right? So just C drive, right? And then we have to format it to uh, Mac OS Extended Journaled, and then you can click on Erase. Now that that's done, we could close out the Disk Utility, and then we can go right into Install Mac OS Monterey. Now, from here, it's basically just like a normal Mac installation, right? Agree to the terms, choose the C drive that you just created and formatted. This part says it's going to take a little bit of time, so I'll meet you guys back here whenever it's done. All right, once it's done, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. Make sure you select your country or don't, you know, I'm just going to say I live in Albania or something. Let's go. So Albania and then continue. You'll notice as we use this, it's kind of laggy. Um, We'll be able to fix that later, but just continue. Skip past all the stuff. And for the Apple ID, we're actually going to set one up later. Or we're just going to say that. I'm not putting an Apple ID on this thing, dude. Uh-uh. And now we have to name ourselves. So I'm just going to name myself admin. Give a password here. And uh, once you get through that basic setup process, this is your Mac. This is now a fully functional MacBook. You can see we can go into Finder here. Um, terminal. Where is the terminal at? I think it's over I don't know where Terminal is, but hey, yeah, this is a fully functional MacBook, and you could, you know, play around with it. You could just do it, uh, whatever you want to do that is on a MacBook. And now in order to fix the uh, lag issues that we're having, we're actually going to relaunch it, right? So just restart the virtual machine altogether. And now when you're back inside of your MacBook, all you have to do up here is go to Player, Manage, and then Install VMware Tools. Now this is like the VirtualBox Guest Edition thing. Sorry, I just got to eject this disk here. And you still get a screen like this, so all you have to do is just hit install VMware tools, double click it. And now this is the installer for the VMware tools, so we're just going to keep hitting install. Here we go. Put the password in. You might get a notification that it was blocked on Mac, so all you have to do here is hit allow and restart the computer again. Now that the computer has been restarted, you'll see you can do new options like, uh, you know, full screening it. And overall, it's just a much smoother experience than the laggy mess that we had beforehand. So yeah, guys, if you did everything correctly, you should have a fully functional Mac on your Windows computer. That about sums up this one, guys. I hope you guys learned something new today. Drop a like and subscribe if you did. Make sure you hit that bell icon to see more videos like this. But Mac OS VMs can actually be pretty useful. Say you want to gauge if you want to buy a Mac and you don't want to drop the three and a half thousand dollars just yet. You want to see what it's going to be like if you want to use it. This can be a pretty good idea of what you're going to have to get used to. You know what I mean? All in all, if you just want to play with the Mac for the experience, I recommend doing this. But uh, yeah, guys, we're almost at 400,000 subscribers. I couldn't thank you guys enough. You mean the world to me, honestly. And uh, yeah. Yeah, don't forget to go to my Instagram to get a free VSEC key. Peace out.